Not a great start. Didn't Blood Fury. Awkward. Alright, 264 DPS. Pretty good. Oh, they said a choker dropped. Alright, well, we kind of Blood Furied. I remembered halfway through. Though, like, we did a fuckload of DPS, so that was good. And it was a relatively slow kill. Alright, we have to get out of combat now. So we can change the runes around. Okay. So I still have not dropped combat. They're pulling more stuff. They just said to... S okay, I dropped combat. <sighs> there we go. Switch the keybinds. Equip the correct weapon. Okay, now... We're good. Okay. Who's getting rage on what? Someone said getting rage on something. I could get a pre-slice. Yeah, that wasn't gonna happen. We are indeed tripping. Okay, the raid leader is not... <laughs> okay, we gotta... Waiting. Wait, 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 wait. We might be able to slice off of this. Oh, we got some pre-slice. This is a little rough. Evasion up. Want me to vanish? Okay, I'll hold it. I just, I mean, I just ripped threat. That's all that happened. <laughs> we call it, uh, the evasion is survival tech. All right, pretty good, 196. Alright, what are we gonna see off this boss? We actually don't need any loot off this boss. We got the cowl, we got the talwar. What the? My camera just. Okay. I got a little disoriented. Okay.
We'll see if we can pre-slice off of these guys. Blood Fury, like when I'm actually supposed to, at the start of the fight. Reaction Potion. Wow, I fucking Envenom Deadly Poison procs. That was so bad. Talwar, band of deep places. We do not need the Talwar. Already got it. You got a Blood Fury right at the start. Is Orc really better? Yes, really, truly, it is. Uh, every time here, I, I did more testing on this to figure it out exactly. When you go from zero stacks to one stack, it saves your attack power. When you go from one stack to two stacks, it saves your attack power. And when you go from two stacks to three stacks, it saves your attack power. So it has three different saved attack power values that total up to calculate the damage that the three stack is going to do. Um... And it only cares about the the attack power when you when you change your number of stacks. Zero to one, one to two, and two to three. That's the only time it checks your attack power. So yeah, you, you have to Blood Fury before the very first Saber Slash, and then you want to get the third Saber Slash done, you know, as soon as possible, but definitely before the Blood Fury um, ends. Coming in with Prime. Thank you so much. I appreciate your support. Thank you for two months of support. Welcome back to the stream. Hope you're having a good day. I'm having a good day. We are uh, blasting on this rogue. Doing a lot of damn. I think on Gellihast, I've, um, the past many times I did Gellihast, I've just send in Venoms, but I feel like you sometimes basically lose your, you know, can't do anything useful with your combo points in the first burn, you know, the first damage phase, because you just, like, don't get your deadly stacks up, and I think it's, like, you know, unlucky. So I think on Gellihast, I'm going to open one point slice, and hopefully the slice will be used up by the time the shield starts. I just really don't want to have slice and dice active um, when... Don't want to have slice and dice active when the shield is up, because it's wasted slice time.
Can I do a four in Venom? Nope. Frick. It didn't go off before the shield. Okay. So, we go up to five points, and then we chill and regen our energy. Shield should be going away soon. Soon. And Venom. Blast. We'll get Thistle T on probably the third damage phase. Big in Venom crit. Good. Good, good. We have to go up to five points. I'm gonna wait a bit with this next Saber Slash, because I also don't want to drop these Saber Slash stacks, so I'm not just, like, sending it insta. There. That should be plenty of time. Please, Deadly Poison. <sighs> The Deadly Poison refreshed. I hit an extra ability to give myself an extra chance to refresh the Deadly Poison. Okay, Invenom. Another Invenom crit. Bro, we are fucking parsing galley. Oh, that's another Invenom crit. Dude, I can't stop critting my Invenoms, bro. Can't stop. That was a insane galley hast. Holy shit. 150. Okay, how many Invenoms crit? Three out of five. That was, that was nice. And that one point slice and dice we did at the start, we got a 20% relentless strikes uh, off of it to re restore the energy. Pretty good. Looking for on this character. Any of the set items are like, and the gun at the end are also really good for me. Uh, High Tide Choker did drop this run, so we'll bid on that. I think they said High Tide Choker dropped. Yeah, it was last run that didn't have it, because we would have bid on that on the Druid if it dropped. Attack from behind as much as possible. I'm gonna Venom. Yep. Vanish. Had too much threat. I'd actually ripped there. we're doing pretty good execution in this raid. I'm feeling good. Oh! Wait, Agi Boots, they said? Ooh. We need those. I need those. Okay. That's my first set piece, bro. I need those. I'm gonna bid on that item, too. Okay. That's one of the items we want. Although, that item is actually worse than this until I can activate a two-piece bonus. So, it will I will actually buy it and it'll sit in my bag. <laughs> until I get another set piece. Ideally, the chest, because we already have Artemis. I don't want to waste that, so yeah. Bro, 
if the if the chest drops too, I'm gonna pog out of control, dude. This rug's gonna go from from like pretty good to like nearly this if I get two piece here. There's a lot of water elementals. What do these water elementals do that we uh, prioritize them? Oh, that's annoying, dude. That's the worst. Yeah, usually on these pulls, the mage is just AoEing everything and pulling threat on them all anyway, so I, don't, I like don't worry about it too much, you know what I mean? T on Calorus or should we T on Akumai? I think we decide based on if we get sent down into the dream world. If we go dream world, we won't T on Calorus. Uh, but if we go, you know, if we uh, are topside the whole time, we'll T Calorus. And maybe we should just T Akumai. here silver okay wait we aggroed something again oh, we got we got combat they're trying to get a drink okay on shadow chains got it okay evasion up I can fuck Dream World. Oh, face. Okay. Dropped our deadly our um, saber stacks. Reaction potion. Ooh. Again and again. There we go. What do we get? Oh, shit. the frostbolt volley where's the other one wait where literally where's the other one Did they kill it already i guess okay. usually there's two of those big water elementals and all i do for this part is i sit here and i like make sure they don't frostbolt volley all right this guy can drop gun that's really good for me sentinel shoulders that's like Kind of mid. Uh, I think he can also drop the chest, which would be big, but like low chance. All 
Alright, so we did burn the tea on Kelris, so we do not have it for Akumai. Reminds me of Kologarn and Ignis. Yeah, you get sent to the dream world, you're just effed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Miss, miss. Please. <laughs> I think we're not slicing here. I'm just gonna wait, see if I can stack deadly a little bit more. Not a fully juiced in venom, but pretty close. Please don't drop the. God damn it. Deadly dropped. Mm -hmm. this shield to go away. In Venom, save the saber stack. Just barely didn't save it. Oh my god. <laughs> saber stack has the Blood Fury snapshot it, so it's very important that we don't drop the stack ever, because we can't re-establish it to the same power that it is from the Blood Fury snapshot. Splinter tree. Oh, I need to actually set this guy to Thunder Bluff. Look, if we pull threat, it's just like on the other bosses. Like, if we pull threat, we just press evasion. And it's fine. It was actually, like, unintentionally good on Gamura. Because we ripped threat on Gamura. We just hit evasion and we took one of the stacks of the armor debuff, which allowed the tank's armor debuff to reset. And like, we weren't trying to rip threat. We were just, you know, pumping damn. Hi, never refresh slice and dice. No, sometimes you refresh slice and dice. But what you really want to make sure is that if you're going to press slice and dice, you need to be attacking the boss for the full duration of the slice and dice, and you do not want the boss to, like, activate a damage shield or something, because that wastes some of the slice and dice duration. The intermission is only 17 seconds long, so there's no shot I'm pressing a finishing move, building five points, and filling up my energy bar again. Wait, hang on, we gotta look up Simonize Her. They said they posted the logs.
Uh, okay. Oh, wait, hold up. Twenties? Probably too much. Not a big upgrade. We go hard on the set. Yeah, twenty too much. Kind of medium upgrade. All right, we'll get the we'll get the boot though. All encounters, yeah, we crushed it. That was some good shit today. Gamu. Rasher cape. Oh, that's the that's the strength one. Uh okay. Did we do good on this one? Yeah, apparently we did. 281. That one didn't even seem that good, because our first in Venom, we hit it when we only had two deadly stacks, so it was not a juiced up in Venom. Talwar, we do not need. Jelly Hast. 150. Okay. Saber Slash, Melee, and Venom, Deadly Poison. Ooh, this was when we got a lot of Invenom crits. 60%. Lorgus Jet. Pop. 211. Helris. We even went into the goddamn dream zone. And we still got 228. Akumai. 211, and eh, not the greatest. Alright, we just gotta pay attention for when the set boots come up. We, we want those. Actually, you know what's crazy? I mean, like, the high tide choker would be an upgrade right now. The boots are only an upgrade if we also get the chest. <laughs> but, you know, you gotta get the set pieces, bro. Set pieces. BFD a couple times, but on last boss, do you mean second to last boss? If you are phased, which of the mobs you do you kill? Uh, the little, the like neutral elf dudes, you kill those, and it's random if they spawn a portal when they die or not. So sometimes you kill one, you get a portal. Sometimes you kill like seven before you get a portal. Twenty-five, bro. We're fucking losing money, insane mode. Okay. Thirty gold. All right. Minus 30 gold. See, like, we spend money on our smart, on smart things. You know, like, items that will sit in our bags until we get, uh, the chest armor. That. Yeah. This is my, uh, look. This is, this is my first set piece. It's actually sitting in my bank until I get the chest armor also, okay? Let's see, uh, here we go. Currently at up 32 gold over the course of all GDKPs that we've done. We purchased 30 here. This is Simonize Her. 116. We'll find out what the payout is. How do you get your money? Well, um, I level up professions and profit gold off of leveling the professions. I sell boggling roots, I sell black fathom ritual stones, or sharpening stones. 
Uh, so I do some disenchant shuffles, mostly mostly auction house flips. Um, the only thing I actually got in the world and farm is boggling roots, which um, you mostly just I do those when I have days where I have to do a lot of video editing. So I just park a character in Teldrassil. Now I have a weak aura that plays an air horn whenever someone spawns Bogglings in the Night Elf starting zone. So then I just tab into the game, kill the Bogglings that spawn, loot the Boggling roots, and then go back to video editing. We do not need that one. Alright, I wonder what the payout is going to be. No, dude, Dankbo got no trinkets equipped, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Treasure Cape, Invoker, Shawl, Sage's Walking Stick. Alright, this is the this is the you know pot of all the random shit. This is the last thing that's gonna get bid out. Two point five. Leggings of Fiery Wrath, 14 spell damage. Those aren't that. Uh, those aren't too bad. Ridge Cleaver. No, we do not have Thunderbrow. Bail Modan, we do not have that. 
And this is cross dagger plus 10. Okay, Slayer footpads have us at 238. And if we go for a plus 16 boot... Oh. Huh. Damn, I really thought that these would be... I Okay, I must have something wrong. Whatever, okay, we did buy an upgrade we can actually equip. Look at that. Bro, look at this insane amount of gold that just changed hands. Rampant botting. Oh my god. Probably gold buying to get an 11 gold payout for a 110 gold pot. God, I was over a th quarter of the pot just from the boot. Good thing we checked the spreadsheet.